Ladies and gentlemen, we are opening the PlayStation 4 tonight on day one launch. Now I know what you're thinking. I am a PC person at heart, still am, but consoles are going to go extinct eventually. We're headed that path, so I've decided to take a breath of life and enjoy moments like these while we still have them. Now we shall perform the operation of removing the PlayStation 4 from its original packaging on day one. Dude, just leave the gym. I know, I just wanted to get a zoom in. Oh wow, they've actually packaged it like neatly this time. I helped you carry this out. Oh, whatever. Uh, you know, I love the feel of the controller. The sticks actually don't seem like your fingers can slip now. You know, and you, and you won't feel like you cut yourself on the analog sticks when you press it forward for too long. And I hope the circle where your stick is, I hope it doesn't crack as easily as it did like with the PS3 remote. I think it's too much of a And look at how light the console is. It looks like an eraser. I need to Here, we changed the angle. Sorry about that. We're arguing with this guy over here. And this guy over here. And we're going to show you the console. I mean, everybody pretty much knows what this thing looks like. It's just, you know, an actual unboxing. It's definitely, you know, an experience as opposed to just a second-hand view of it. Here's the cables. Here's all the chargers and everything. Yeah, you got your HDMI oh, cable, your audio jack, headset, your USB. Oh, Stop oh. touching that stuff. I'm gonna touch it. Literally, you touch it one more time, yeah, I will no, punch don't, you. Don't take it personally. Anyway, here's the controller from earlier. Bring it right here. Stop touching this stuff, I will literally punch you because you, literally your obsession. What happened? Oh shit, did it record or. Alright, all right, wait, let's keep going. Anyway, here's the finally the main piece, the console. Basically, here's how it packages, and here's how it looks. How do you feel how light it is? It is not light. Mm. Compared to the PS, it is it is it is light. It is light how it looks, but it is actually not light. It is it it really takes on the fingers of your holding. It does. It is not meant to hold well in your hands. No. Even though it does look nicer. It's that nice. that uh, contrast in finishes really does make it look nice. It's definitely smoother, and you just left your first fingerprint. Congrats. And I will... Actually, no, there's no fingerprint at all. Right there, you can see it. Oh, screw you. Anyway. Actually, you left two fingerprints. Congrats, like, once again. Okay, but... Uh, he you, makes you want to hurt him, doesn't he? No. Um, the, the fact that there's two USB ports, it's questionable. Where do you put in the games exactly? From we actually got a game here. If I'll get one, so you can actually see, we actually got three games here for modern to basically hardcore shooters. Yeah, we've got Killzone Shadowfall, we've got Lego Marvel Super Heroes, and we've got Call of Duty Ghosts. Yep, so what game are we going to go through first? I prefer Killzone Shadowfall, to be honest, because I can see Call of Duty anytime. For me, just to see the disc, I'll prefer Marvel, because we got, it's all around and it's universal. Yeah, and we do get to see, a, you know, a more iterative version, you know, a better, a better than upscale. I would assume that LEGO superheroes on PS4 will outdo PS3. How much did you pay for the Lego game? Don't know. If it was sixty dollars, I'm pretty sure you're getting ripped off. Eh, it's probably thirty. Anyway. So, so yeah, USB cable to connect the controller, audio jack, headsets, the HDMI cable, and the power plug. And it's definitely a standard kit. Here's the game. Here's what the game looks like. Ah, they say, they give it say, to you out of place with the disc. Yeah, same game, same place. It looks pretty much like a standard thing. So where's the difference? That's the main difference. Well, it's still a Blu-ray disc. 
and still a Blu-ray system. All right, we'll get started on setting it up. Oh, here it is. Oh, man, that is really hard to see. Oh, it's that... really thin, and it's right there. You see it. Look. They could have colored it white. like They around. could have colored it white, made it silver trim, or, or made a golding trim, or a blue light, or something. They could have highlighted it so people Seriously, could Seriously, it, it's like something you don't really see unless you actually have to look in there. Yeah. That was a design flaw. Okay, well, definitely better than, than some of the past models. And they could have done right here, right on top, if they wanted to, a huge blank space, a custom, a custom cover. Which they could have made like so a, a dark cider skull, Kratos skull, or some anything from a di from a genre if you want to put on your console. All right, and, and they didn't. And now we shall show you the setup console. All right then, and now we've set up the PlayStation Four. Pretty simple, very streamlined, easy enough. Similar to the design, I will point out is that it kind of is designed like the old 360. So. Oh, Case in point, it's kind of similar in how it's designed. Yeah, but it's so it's almost as slim as the uh, the later latter 360 models. And the layout's similar to it, uh -huh. so so let's really brings a question to mind. Let's you know start approving the agreements and start going through it. All right. And we have to download the patch. Um, I'm actually going to cut this part because I don't want people seeing, you know, the stuff that you're typing. Okay. So, let's put the game over. This is a really stupid. Oh, 